So today we are back with another video and we are doing Euphoria makeup looks. So I know personally I'm a big fan of the show and so is Marisa and we know that they are releasing some new episodes in December so we thought it would be a fun time to bring this trend back up because it deserves the hype. It is so fun. So we thought we would just show you guys how we would personally do our Euphoria look. We love these looks. We want to wear them every single day of our lives. We want to inspire you guys to feel creative and to just be able to rock these looks on the daily. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Just because the pigments are probably going to be so much, I think I'm going to do the eyes first. I think I'm just going to do the base of it. Then I'll do my face and then I'll finish the eyes. I don't know if I've ever really like had a primer where I'm like, oh my god, that really does something. I really like the Too Faced Born This Way one. It doesn't really like make you glowy or anything. But when I used to go out in like college, most of the time fall asleep with it on, my makeup. <laughs> um, I'd wake up and like my makeup looked exactly the same. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Just bought this. <laughs> today got the james charles palette i'm actually gonna go in with pinkity drinkity and just in like the inner so i can like face it because i want it to kind of be a, almost a little bit lighter the color payoff is kind of light but it's also a super light shade so i don't expect much look how bright this is oh okay oh my god let's get it I just barely tapped that on. Cheers. <laughs> Let's go. It's really just you gotta commit. Okay, I'm kind of like already living for this. Oh my god. Uh, how does that literally look so perfect? Like the wing and everything. Girl. Girl. <laughs> Girl. So of course, the day we film, I have this huge pimple on the side of my face. Yep. So... I don't know if you do this, but a trick that I've always done, matching the tone of your foundation, like concealer, mm -hmm. over each one, and then just let it like sit there. And dry. Yep. And then and you dry. put it in. And then, no, and then I put foundation over it. Mm -hmm. Just like blend it out that way. They're yeah. gone. They're yeah. absolutely gone. That's what I do too. I like put it on, let it like get really, really, really tacky, and then I blend out the edges. I don't know if you guys know this, but we are Scorpio sisters. Yes, we are. Um, Olivia on the, what is it, beginning cusp? Yep. I don't know. And I'm towards the end. Yeah. We balance out the Scorpio in each other. Like, <laughs> I love astrology, though, and, like, I've been getting a lot more into it recently. It is really interesting. Love this palette, by the way, the Anastasia cream shades. I've never are, used it. Oh my god, so nice. And like, I've also been contouring literally like even close to your temple right there. Like literally pat that right there. Ooh. Is this even? I literally can't see. Yeah, it looks so good. Let's go, baby. I'm using these color FX drops because I want this look. It's going to be super sparkly, super glowy. So I don't know how much is left in here. Okay, I'm just gonna like pat, literally pat this on. Haven't put any powder on or anything cause it doesn't work like that. I literally cringe when people put liquids mm -hmm. on top of mm -hmm. powder. I'm like, no honey, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. I saw on TikTok, it was like a heart shape tape do. Pretty decent. The real tell though is gonna be underneath the eye. I Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm not mad. So for bronzer, I'm sticking to kind of warmer tones. This is like a cooler warm. Um, Minky Luxe's bronzer. Really nice. It smells good too. Oh, it's like the um, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Ooh, yeah. That's, That's a like good chocolate. dupe. I just picked this up today. It's the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. So it's sheer to medium coverage. To be honest, I saw James Charles use it in his video and I still stan him. This stuff is beautiful. I just used this highlighter um, by Maybelline Master Chrome Base Studio Metallic Highlighter. It's eye, but it is like scaly on the skin. Oh, this is also the Morphe sponge. It is amazing. 10 times better than a beauty blender, I'll say it. So if anybody wants to go buy one, also it's really affordable. Um, super easy to clean. The angles help me get into all the right places. No, I recommend that. Also, you guys, every time I finish my face makeup, I take a wet, like, towel to get all of the excess, like, foundation, whatever, off. And also, like, dead skin, like, exfoliate my lips real quick. I swear that has literally made my lips, like, plumper over the years. Just use the towel method on my lips. Didn't even put anything on them besides 
Vaseline, mm -hmm. and I feel like they look like rosebud lips. So I'm also gonna use Mars, the Cover FX Drops. Also, another tip is they dry kind of quick on your face. They do. So you have to literally like get it out right away. It's really helpful if you just like put it directly on your beauty blender, and then it phases out so much prettier. I like dab it a little on my hand, and then I go in with So it. I'm also taking those drops and putting them on my nose and my cupid's bow. So I just use the Anastasia Palm made to do my brows. I really want them to stick up straight for this look. I heard soap actually works if you put a little soap on mm -hmm. your spoolie. Okay, just got a little bit of soap and water on my spoolie and very lightly so we don't soak the brows, which I kind of just did. I'm but. using the Anastasia translucent setting powder with a big fluffy brush and just lightly going over brows. I'm just gonna go in with my Hoola bronzer and do some light contouring. I'm gonna take this blush by Pixie. It's kind of got mica and some sparkles in there. It'll help give some glow to the look and bring that color back in my face. I always put a little bit on my nose and on my forehead on each side, just so it looks like, you know, I'm sun-kissed, even though well, it's actually sunny today, but but it's real cold. <laughs> it's a real, real cold. <laughs> also, something that I love to do with my contour bronzer is just like kind of make my lips really soft and then go right underneath the bottom lip. And adding that little shadow gives your lips the perfect little power. Okay, now it's time for the eyes and I'm really scared. Can I see the options in your palette? Mm -hmm. The palette that I have is the Anastasia Sultry palette. I highly recommend literally all of these palettes are so pigmented and they blend so well. Um, I have the Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance, the pink one, the tan one, and then the sparkly brown one. I'm starting the eye. I love this shade in Jaclyn Hill's palette. I don't even know what it's called. They're not named, but it's like the orange shade. I love it so much. It's such a good transition shade. And I'm a bronzy girl, so I love doing this with the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. It's the Radiant Duotone one. It has like the two different shades in it, and it's kind of shimmery. I love a shimmery bronzer to put on after. I do my contour right above and through my contour my temples and a little bit on my forehead the reason I don't do my brows before I do my contour and my bronzer is because I like to bring my bronzer into the ends of my brows and then I'm going in with two very neutral brown shades and just darkening up that crease and I really like to bring it like out towards like the tip of my eyebrow and lift your face up, which is what we like. So I'm gonna use the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia in Soft Brown. It tends to like dry out pretty quick, so what I actually do is I take setting spray of mist you have, just do a little bit either in the lid or on the product. It just increases the longevity of it. So I'm gonna take this grayish brown shade in the Anastasia palette called Twig. That'll be kind of my first round of darkening up my crease. I'm going in with the Morphe E17 brush. I'm really just packing it into the outside of my eye. So now I'm taking Twig and mixing it with Dystopian and it's kind of a blacky brownish gray color and I'm treating it like a wing line putting it where the wing would go and then blending it out really trying to focus on brushing my brows up and making them fluffy and messy really focus on like drawing your lines up too like in the front part I really dragged it out a bit longer than my eyebrow goes and you can't tell when you fluff them up because the hairs end up matching up with that now I'm taking twig putting it right above that line that I just made and that's just gonna blend it all out and make it look seamless I just took again the Jaclyn Hill palette in my crease to just kind of blend everything together. I swear that shade is a holy grail for me. If you also have like short eyebrow hairs like me, one thing you can do is like when you brush it up, literally just kind of hold it there for a second so that it has a like a little time to set up into place. I'm gonna take this Lancome blush and actually use it for my eyes because for this look I want it to be 
gold and silver but also hints of like pink as well i'm going to use this morphe blush palette it is the blush trio trio de blush and i'm going to use the colors legendary and hustle one is like a mauve and then other is kind of like a mauvey brown and i just tap in between them both and tap it out now i am gonna go in with the anastasia glow kit in sunday i'm gonna use moonstone because it's like a rose gold shade and i think that'll go really well with the pink in the eyeshadow and i just picked up some more of that black and i'm just deepening the black even more because I'm about to go in with Koki Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow and it's gold. I dabbed that off because that looked like a lot. We're just gonna start out slow because we don't really know what's going on. So just putting that in the center of the lid up to the crease, kind of in towards the corner of the eye. I think I'm gonna go back in and touch up the pink just a little bit more. I need a gold. And then I'm just spraying this gold shimmer with some setting spray, blending it out with that liquid eyeshadow, I'm taking that farther in to the center and to the inner corner but i think i'm gonna drag the pink underneath my lower lash line just on the outer third to connect it a little bit i'm going to take this silver liquid eyeshadow by elf and i'm going to add in little sparses of silver into this eye look as well so just Kind of putting them random spots on the lid. I am going to take just a little bit of that highlighter that I use for my face. And I'm just going to put a small tiny bit right in my tear duct. Bringing the sparkle in and around the bottom of my tear duct. So I'm just putting a little bit of lash glue on any surface, literally. And I'm going to start going in with these jewels. And while that liquid eyeshadow is still wet, I'm taking just like a tube of silver glitter. And I'm going to put that on my eyelid as well. Oh my god, that looks so good. Let's go, baby. And then I'm going to take that twig um, shade again underneath the eye to just kind of blend everything together i feel like you always need to put something on the bottom of your eye and then i'm gonna take this little highlighter stick by pixie and i'm just gonna coat my inner corner with it to blend out the glitter and make it look nice and shiny by the way with the jewels i'm just literally placing it around the outline of the shape that i made i used a bigger one right on my tear ducts and then i'm using these smaller ones right on top and along like the edge on the bottom and then right for the tip and the inner i'm going to do just one size smaller so i'm going to take a clear gloss now and actually put it on the outer part of my crease because i'm going to put glitter on it and i want it to stick so we're going for it. I did six on top, two on the side, and now I'm gonna go in with those smaller ones and finish up. So now I'm really packing this silver glitter on top of my crease where I put that lip gloss. Look that I'm going for, I am taking rose quartz in that Anastasia palette and just gonna pat that in and blend it out with the glitter and kind of make it a part of this whole look. And the whole point of this look, I'm kind of just putting colors like randomly. So they're kind of like intertwined. I want to wear this every day. Now that I finished with the jewels in my eyes, I'm going to use this LA Girl Lip Plumper. I actually saw it on TikTok. So let's see if it actually makes these lips get real plump. So then I'm taking that same rose quartz color and spritzing it and putting it on top of that silver glitter. So it kind of layers. So we're putting it right on top. And then I'm going in with pearl in that same Anastasia palette and gonna brighten up the inner corner. So for the jewels, I'm gonna go super messy with them, sticking to a similar shape as Olivia, spreading them out in height a little bit and in size. We have a bunch of different sizes in here and kind of make a jaggedy shape of that cat eye. What I actually ended up doing was bringing that highlight shade from the Anastasia palette. I put it um, below my brow bone to the rhinestones and down through to my tear duct. Okay, so we just took a little intermission to put on all of our jewels. On the bottom part of my eye, I kept it simple and just did a very straight line, same size jewels. I picked the smaller jewels for underneath the eye to just make it dainty. Going on the top of my crease, very sparse, different size jewels, kind of messy. And then I also took these 
foils that I actually bought for nails. They're kind of hard to work with. That's one of the gold foils. I'm using gold and silver just to give some more dimension and shine around the eye. And then I ended up adding jewels all around the bottom just because I feel like it completed the look and Mar suggested it and I'm happy she did. I added this uh, little diamond choker and put on this silk satin cow neck dress. And I did a party pony on the top and added two diamond um, barrettes right here. So what I'm doing to make the foil stick is taking this blue glittery lip gloss. I will put the gold foil right here so it's wet and then literally just take your finger and put the gold mark on. So that's what I've been doing all around my eye and then I'm also right now going to take this blue lip gloss and just literally dot it around sparse areas around my eye just to add a little bit of color and more dimension. I'm going to put on lashes and we'll be right back. I'm just going to line my lips with the Lancome Lee Lip Liner um, in 290. I just added some mousse to my hair. I'm going to add some glitter tears by taking liquid eyeshadow that's in gold just drawing them out so I just took that liquid eyeshadow and made the tear outline to give that look a wet type of feel and then I combined silver and gold sparkles together and I'm going to just place those in the center of the tear. I'm using this blue lip gloss again, patting it down the center of the tear. You want to make sure towards the actual eye you're making it bigger and then just slimming it out as you go down. I might even just let this tear be blue. <laughs> right? It's kind of cute, just blue. I like it. Okay, so we finally finished our looks and we put on the top half of our outfits. <laughs> so if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe down below. We hope that you took something from it and recreate Euphoria looks yourself. We had so much fun doing this video. If you guys recreate any of the looks, make your own style, please tag us. We would love to see it. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions for videos you guys would like to see. Again, we are here to create for you and us, so we want to make sure that you guys are happy too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.